Okay, so here's um, an example where you get a tree that is literally when you should be removing the bird net. Uh, the tree has actually come up to the top of the tube um, and you actually kind of see how it's even starting to curl a, kind of a little tiny bit. If we were to let this go for another couple days, that, tr that curl right there would actually hit this, this net and start going back down. And then when we find it, we pull the tube off, that tree is now gonna keep that growth form and actually grow like this out of the tube. So that's, that's the problem we're having. So we'll actually pull this net off. <laughs> we typically like to pull the nets off when the trees are about, when we're starting to see any kind of growth up to around four to six inches below the top of the tube um, in order to, because it's always hard to get there in time. And we are really trying to prevent that. And it's easy to just go through once a week on the four wheeler, drive around and rip the, the, the nets off. So here's an example of a tree that we got to a little too late on pulling the bird net off. And you can see it's kind of permanent growth form at this point is um, sideways. So again, in this situation, we have five foot tube where we haven't flowered it yet because this tree just came out. Um, we are getting some rubbing already. Uh, it's causing problems. Um, and, uh, but we also have a seven foot stake. So now we, this is what I mean by having the stake taller than the tube. Um, so now what we do, I don't have those bands on me, is we literally just take the, this tree and just clip it to this stake here. And that, that prevents all the rubbing problems. It also trains this tree to now start growing straight like the way we want it to grow. So here's an example of the problem that we're actually trying to resolve. So here's a tree, uh, same thing, pulled the bird tube off too late. It grew sideways, but it was growing pretty well. And then the cows came through and actually ate it. Uh, their head literally is right here when they reach and they're able to just, especially on this hill from the uphill side, they got it right at the top of the tube. That could have been prevented if we just strapped it to the top of the stake as it grew up.